Hello everybody, welcome. My name is Mitchell. I'm the solutions engineer here at Robolab and today we are unboxing the Unitree Go2 Quadruped robot dog. Uh, immediate impressions, um, I've got a big gray foam case. Uh, it is pretty nice to travel around with the dog. It's got wheels and it's got a pretty sturdy handlebar over here. On the outside, I've got a, another handle right here and I've got a couple latches. And that seems to be the only latches, so let's pop it open. Get some ASMR of those clicks. Ooh, okay. Nice. All right. First thing we have is the charger, the user guide and warranty information inside here. We also have the uh, mini remote control. This one's good for um, attaching to your hip, having the robot dog follow you around. Uh, you can also control it uh, from this little controller as well. We also have the battery. Now we are working with the Unitree Go2 EDU, which uh, comes standard with the 15,000 milliamp hour battery. Uh, the other models, which would be the Unitree Go2 Air or the Unitree Go2 Pro will come with the standard battery which is the 8,000 milliamp hours. 15,000 milliamp battery takes about an hour and a half to charge and will last for around two to four hours, depending on how heavily you're using it. The standard 8,000 milliamp batteries will take about two hours to charge and can be used for up to two hours. Let's actually pull out the dog now and I've got the strap and pretty lightweight relative for a, for a robot. It's about 33 pounds, so it's listed as 15 kilograms, so that's about 33 pounds. Underneath the dog, we have the stand actually for the dog. So this is a cool little display stand and you can have it sitting here while the dog is uh, being programmed. Before you're executing any code, you can actually have it sitting on the stand. Now we have the actual Unitree go-to dog in front of us. Again, we're working with the EDU version, so the EDU version is uh, designed primarily for educational purposes uh, as opposed to the Pro or the Air. Uh, this one will offer some enhanced AI and programming capabilities as opposed to the Air and the Pro versions, making it ideal for education, whether that's K-12 through higher ed and especially research projects and research labs. So taking a look at the hardware of the quadruped, we can obviously see four legs. These have a really great range of motion. I believe this has a 96 degree turning radius here and 290 degrees at the uh, thigh. And then around, this looks around maybe 250 degrees or so at the um, lower leg, right? The dog comes equipped with four foot uh, rubber end pieces. There's four additional ones in the case as well. Up front right here, we have the 4D LiDAR. We have the RealSense 3D camera in the front as well. On the back right here, we also have an expansion dock, which is actually an NVIDIA Jetson Orin Nano uh, offering 40 tops of AI processing power. You can also get the more powerful 100 tops expansion pack if you wish. Let's go ahead and power it up. And we'll press that in until I hear it click. There we go. Awesome. And the orientation, so I know, I've, I know from um, previous versions of the Unitree dogs that the orientation or the way you lay out the dog before powering it on is very important. So all four feet should be on the ground as well as the elbows or the joints of the robot dog. And to power on the device, click the power button once and then press and hold. So, oh, I can hear it turn on. Nice. Look at that. So you can see the external 4D LiDAR does spin, so careful, the dog does bite. Pretty stable, I mean, my table isn't very stable, but I can kind of manipulate the dog a bit, and you can see that it stands pretty, pretty sturdy. Now, I can, power on the controllers. And you turn on the, you turn on the controller the same way you turn on the dog. So tap once, then press and hold. 
and now it is on and I'll be sure to be very careful Whoop. so the way the remote control works is that I can perfectly fit a smartphone so I can use the remote control on the dog along with the mobile app and let's wake the dog up Ooh. and now you can see what the dog is seeing through its 4D LiDAR. And if I click on the top left corner, I can now see through its, 3D, through its RealSense 3D camera. I'm using the joysticks of the controller, but I also actually have joysticks on the mobile app itself, so I don't really need the controller at all anymore. From the app, I, I have some Pretty cool features, I can make the dog leap forward through some very simple pre-programmed controls. I can pull up a whole list of actions available. So I can make the robot do a handstand. I'm lying down. I'm standing up right away, starting a passionate dance. So, wishing me prosperity and well, hand over to my envelope. Some other features of the app, I can go into functions, and I have this cool feature, the Ben Ben Dog, where I can tell the robot what I want it to do. So let's say, turn 180 degrees, then walk forward four meters and say hi. <laughs> cool. That's a lot of fun. I have a programming interface, which is block-based coding. Very easy to use. You can see I have a virtual dog over here where if I have the robot um, do some animation and I click run, it will run on the simulated dog. As soon as I, as soon as I close the simulation, I'm actually now programming the robot so I can run the program and it will now run on the physical robot. Let's do a little bit more. Let's go into action and let's say that after it walks forward those two meters I want the robot to shake hands and then I want the robot to change its headlight color to purple. We can have it take a photo from there we can also repeat this multiple times. So I'll repeat this two times. Cool. And what I'll do at the end of this is I will also have the robot turn around so that it can walk back and forth. Let's do one, one revolution. So now, let's run it on the simulated robot just to make sure we have our program right. The robot's going to walk forward two meters, shake hands, change its headlight color, take a photo, and then turn around, and then it will do that one more time. So let's check it out. I think that's good. Let's run it on the real robot.
Perfect. And at this point, we can take it outside. We're gonna see the capabilities of this boy. sketchy, but it was cool. Mitchell Bergman, coming to you from Robot Lab. Hope you enjoyed what you see with the Unitree Go2 EDU quadruped dog. Feel free to contact us at sales at robotlab.com for any information you'd like on the Unitree Go2 dog and how it can benefit your school. Thank you.